want to be like me? You want to be like me? You, you want you want to be like me? You want to be like me? You want to eat like Finally, at five past midnight, the Oscars are finally fucking over. It really ain't that much left, though, to be perfectly honest. So I'll make it quick and painless so it ain't got to be just as long as the damn Oscars. Let's see where I was at. This will be some editing. Oh, yeah. The last thing I was doing was going in on Barbara Streisand, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, the rest of the show went on, but like that is burnt in my brain. This chick looked like a cross between Taylor Swift and Stevie Nicks. You old as hell. You old as hell. I can't believe you had all that crazy shit on. I can't believe. Oh, this is some bullshit. I'm, I'm waiting for Jimmy Kimmel's after show because my husband Channing is going to be on there. He going to quit leaving me home for the goddamn award shows and premieres and shit. I tell you that. Delusional. I know. So they bring out for best score and best song, they bring out the cast of Chicago to present it and Catherine Zeta-Jones, which is another fashion trend. It actually seemed like it came along after the fact, not so much on the red carpet. It was a couple people, Jessica Chastain, I know for one, but that Oscar gold seemed to be real big too. And a lot of people was reserving that for on stage. Um, but Catherine Zeta-Jones was doing it. Queen Latifah's dress was like kind of like a pale gold. I don't know if it was a white, a beige, or a gold. And then Renee Zellweger had on gold. But when they was all standing together, it didn't look like they all had on gold. The fuck is going on with Renee Zellweger, dude? Renee Zellweger face. Look like somebody just did this with some Play-Doh. And then, like, your eyebrows wasn't done, your hair was messy. Like, please tell me you plan, like, somebody tore up in your next part. But you know what? No. Because even that face, like, why do you look older than Catherine Zeta-Jones? You're not. Fire your hair and makeup person. Or they get the flu or something. I don't know what was going on. Somebody else that had on gold that I want to touch on real quick, too, was Kristen Stewart from Twilight. She is so twitchy. Like, by now, you got Tourette's or something? I'm not trying to be funny. Because, like, you're always so twitchy. And I'm like, by now, you should have had, like, media training and stuff to not do that. Especially, you know, with you having, like, what? how many Twilights? Was it four or five? I don't know, because I don't watch that sparkly vampire bullshit. It's good for you, and you got to present, because you ain't ever going to win an Oscar. So, it was a good Oscar show, because Seth MacFarlane kept it going, and it was pleasant enough. But there were no, what you really call, surprises to me. Like, you kind of knew Adele was going to win, just like you knew Anne Hathaway was going to win. First of all, Adele snatched trophies. That's what she do. That bitch just go around to every show that she nominated to and be like, oh, I'm walking away with at least one of these. She just snatched trophies. Like, that's what she do. And we knew she was going to win. You didn't have, like, that upset, like, it's hard out here for a pimp. Like, you had that in the song from Ted and some other shit that nobody even paid no attention to. So, it's Adele all day, every day. Quentin Tarantino won for Best Original Screenplay for Django Unchained. I was thrilled. I love Quentin Tarantino. I've been seeing his genius. My sister says that it's for people that smoke weed. Well, it must be a whole lot of people. Oh, well, it probably is. I was, there's a whole bunch of people on the Oscar panel that smoke weed. Well, it is Hollywood. It brought Quentin Tarantino, how gangster are you that they start playing the playing you off music? He stops and says, I know I'm about to run over. And they cut the music off. That's some gangster shit right there. And then when he get done with his speech, he says, peace out. That's why the hell I love Quentin Tarantino. That's my nigga. Ha <laughs> ha. No pun so, intended. I'm actually very happy that he won an Oscar because he deserves one. Jennifer Lawrence won for Best Actress. I won't say that that's an upset. I really didn't know who was going to win that category, but it wasn't, like, exciting. Like, okay, Jennifer Lawrence won. Like, everybody in that category was good, and it's not one of those things like Marissa Torme 
one for my cousin Vinny. And it was, oh, poor Jennifer Lawrence fell on the way up there. Poor thing. But her, the bottom of her dress was so big, and she was probably really, in all honesty, so shocked that she won. She seemed very genuine, too. Um, this seemed like this was, she was, you was nominated the for Best year. Actress, and you lost the first time. But the second time, you get the win. Yay! Her and Anne Hathaway. woo woo and Anne Hathaway was, like, so excited for her, and they had on their matching pink dresses. I hope they do a picture of them together with their Oscars, because that is going to be an awesome picture, because they was coordinated and shit, so that's going to be cool. Daniel Day-Lewis won Best Actor. Again, it's not a shock. This cat snatched trophies. This cat do movies, like, once every, like, ten years, and every time he play in a movie, he get an Oscar. It is a record, though. He is the only person to have three Oscars for lead actor. But he like Adele. Like if Daniel Day Lewis is in the category, chalk it up as um, a lot. Jack Nicholson presented best Oscar, but then he actually shot the via satellite Flotus, Michelle Obama. You know I love Michelle Obama. Like they will take your black card if you are a black female and you don't love Michelle Michelle Obama. Damn it. That's a tongue twister, ain't it? But um, Michelle Obama, another one. That monochromatic, she just had on a simple shape, completely silver, beaded dress, and she was looking sickening, and she was looking just as good as the professional actress of McCarthy, and I really loved her dress. And I really loved her dress, and I wish she would have wore that last year when she was nominated. And then Argo wins Best Picture. Again, was that really a shock? I didn't see Argo. I'm going to see Argo. I was always going to see Argo. But you won Best Picture. They snubbed you for director. Was it a better picture than Les Mis? I don't know. I haven't seen either one of them. But for a long, long time, like Les Mis and Lincoln was the front runners. Then they put Argo in it. Then when he wasn't nominated for Best Director, they said, like, that happens so rarely that somebody doesn't get nominated for Best Director that wins Best Picture, but he won. And they made it very, very clear. The producers came out, so it's Ben Affleck, George Clooney, and some other guy that we don't know that's not famous was the producers of the film. And the guy that nobody knew came out and made, like, his speech. And he made cocksure. He did it in a classy way because he ain't just come out and say it, but he made cocksure to let everybody know you wrong for not giving this man best director. I like almost everybody's outfit that they wore for like performance, except for Amanda Seyfried. Um, then the actual dress they wore on the red carpet. Like Sally Field, I like your dress better from the skit. Kristen Chenoweth at the end, Kristen Chenoweth and um, Seth MacFarlane sang. She had on like this gold dress. And again, I was saying gold ended up being actually one of the colors of the night um, as the show went on. I liked that a lot better. I really liked um, Jennifer Hudson's dress that she performed in. I think I actually mentioned that in another video. I really liked hers a lot better. Again, with the monochromatic. Um, I liked Anne Hathaway's dress that she performed in a lot better. That looked a little bit more like I'm nominated for an Oscar. Like that pink dress, it was cute and she got the body for it. I just, that wasn't an Oscar dress to me. It just wasn't. Like, that reminds, it reminded me of prom. Um, Salma Hayek presented something. She did something. But she was giving me Latina Holly Go Lightly, Aubrey Hepburn, and Breakfast at Tiffany's. I don't know how I feel about it. She was just giving me Breakfast at Tiffany's, and I really don't know how I feel about that. So, so all in all, after spending half my day preparing for the damn Oscars with the red carpet and the watching it and doing this video. I see why people drink at award shows. God damn it. If you agree, disagree, think I talk too goddamn much, whatever you want to say, post it down below. Deuces.